We're in Microsoft Excel and we're going to look at creating charts using a logarithmic scale. We'll create first of all a semi log graph and that's where one axis uses a logarithmic scale. And then we'll also create a log log graph. So that would be something like a scatter graph that uses a logarithmic scale on both axes. Let's start with our semi log graph. So I've got the year and then the sales achieved within that year for our business. I want to plot this on a line graph. So I start by clicking in any cell in my data. Then I go to the insert tab on the ribbon in the charts group. I'm going to click on my line button and choose this first line graph. So you can see here that because the sales were quite low at the beginning stages of our business, you can't really see any detail here. It just looks like a flat line. And that's because of this scale. But if I converted this to a logarithmic scale, we'd better see some of the detail down here. So if I right click on this vertical axis and then go to format axis, up pops the format axis task pane on the right of the screen. Should land on the axis options part of this task pane. If not, just click on this button here. And then down towards the bottom, you have the option for logarithmic scale. If you tick that, you now have that scale on your vertical axis. And you can see the detail in the beginning stages of our business. This base number here defines the increments you're getting on the vertical axis. For example, if I changed it to two, it would change the increments that we're seeing here. 10 is the norm, so I'll leave it like that. Now, the horizontal labels don't look that good down here. They're a bit bunched up. So if I click on the horizontal axis, over here, I can expand labels, specify interval unit, I'll just put in a two. That looks a lot better. Let's move on to the log log graph. So I've got the number of staff employed and the sales achieved, and I want to look to see if there's a relationship between the two. And I can do that with a scatter graph. So I'd click into the data, get to the insert tab on my ribbon in the charts group, go to the scatter button. So you can see that initially, the majority of the data points are bunched bottom left of my graph. It doesn't make a great graph. So I'm going to apply a logarithmic scale to the vertical axis. Now, assuming that you don't already have this task pane open, close it down, you'd right click on this vertical axis, format axis, tick this option, logarithmic scale, you can see it's already separating out these data points, but we could do the same for the horizontal axis. If I go down here, tick this option here, logarithmic scale, and now you can see the individual data points. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.